Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Slabs to Cabs, where I take slabs that I cut on Sundays, turn them into cabochons, jewelry, and other things on Mondays. Today we're going to do these guys. These are little tiny, kind of like quartzite, maybe jasper, and then they both have this little tiny pocket of pyrite in here that'll shine gold hopefully at the end. You can see where I drew a little dot there. I'm going to make a pair of earrings out of this thing. Here, let me get the other one out too. So they're generally the same shape. They're pretty close, um, close enough. So this will be the face of this one. And then that little patch of pyrite in there again, hopefully it will shine up nice. But I'm gonna drill holes and then I'm going to, let's see, let me find my, oh yeah, I just did that coral, ha. Ah. Let me find these guys. So then I'm going to put these guys on there. So they're just little hook hanger earring things. And then I like these little triangle split rings like in there. So then the triangle split ring will go through and then it'll hang like that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to bring these over and we have to drill our holes. So let's get the Dremel set up and we'll get going. Okay, so we got our little bin of water, a little piece of wood to put underneath. And then the water is just high enough over so these things are covered. So now what you want to do, my only, you know, suggestion if you're doing this by hand is just start at an angle and then go straight up and down. Um, it's just easier that way and just go as slow as possible if you're doing it by hand. You know, these things are super thin, so I definitely don't want to go too fast and get chip out. So, all right, well, let's get to it. Okay, so we have our holes drilled. So now the next step, you know, I'm gonna sand these things. I'm gonna leave the edges raw, cause I think that'll be cool. And then I'm gonna sand both faces. So these things are pretty thin. So usually I would do stuff by hand, you know, where I could put it on the sander and then grab the edges and pick it up. But I won't be able to do that on these cause they're pretty thin. So what I do is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have these little nylon bolts that I have. And then this is double stick tape that I just wrapped around the end of it. So what I'll do is I'll just stick it right to the back of that on there, you know, just like dopping it. But I don't want to dop it because they're pretty thin and I don't want to, you know, put them through the freezer or have that crack off or anything. So this is just a nice little trick. You know, you have to switch the tape um, in between because I'll have to do, you know, I'll do like one whole face or, you know, the, the discs all the way down on on one side and then take the double stick tape off, redo it and then flip them over and then go through all the discs on the other side. That's just the easiest way to do it. So let's get these things stuck up and we're gonna probably just start on the 180 because we don't wanna lose too much of this um, face on there because it's pretty thin already. So we'll start on the 180 and then we'll just go right to the uh, resin discs. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> through all the discs on just one side, so these faces are completely polished. So now what I'll do is I'll just switch up my tape, flip them over, and do the same thing again. So let's get to it. So we're through all the discs, both sides. I put the little hooks through and this is what we came up with. So they did take a really good shine. That pyrite pocket in there ended up being more of a pit than a, you know, like 
actual pyrite crystals in there, but you can still see them. It's a cool little contrast. The red and white and then the little specks of maybe sandstone or mudstone are really cool. So those are the fronts. And then I'll see if I can switch this around. And then here we got the backs. Still really, really cool. And then I just wanted to show you as well that all this light comes through them. So when they're hanging in your ears and the sun's glowing, these things all glow like crazy. And like I said, I just left the edges raw. I think that looks cool. You can kind of see the raw stone, but yeah, I think they turned out really, really good. So if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.